Hello, Willow here, hippie chick. How are you? Hope you're doing good. I'm good. Just finishing my water, so I'm gonna call this another Tease Tuesday because yes, indeed, I pre-record. Oh, the lace is coming undone. Well, well, well. When we were in Ontario, I went to Herbert's and uh, went to the one in Alliston. Didn't like it very much. They didn't have exactly what I was looking for. Um, but they have better selection than Innisfil. So if you're ever out there and you're looking for moccasins, these are the ones that, um, these are one pair. Um, there's another, I love the beadwork, right? That's really cute. And the sewn on plastic. This will last like a long, long time. I probably will have to have them resold maybe in about five years, but I'm just staying in with them. I'm not going out. So they're just for inside. Just for inside. I'm looking at my shaggy mane. It's called my mop. That's what I call her out here. What else? Um, I was looking for, so I was in a jewelry shop and um, they had a lot of stuff in, in town. And my daughter said, Mom, you must have been suffering with jet lag because you didn't see that purse right over there. And huh, it's a Michael Kors. So I was like, yeah. So it was 400 and something. And it was marked down to, I paid 100 bucks cash. And it's a Michael Kors. And I love it. All you have to do with these bags, honestly, is just give it a little, little damp uh, wipe. And yeah, it's been all over the place. So it's been sitting on the floor. Not that clean, whatever. I don't care about that anymore. There's other things to care about. So yes, Tea Tuesday is held um, by Patty's Favorite Things and, nope, Life with Patty <laughs> and Kathy's Favorite Things. Oh, okay. I'll get with it. I don't know. Maybe. So, I'm not exactly sure what topic. I mean, right now it's still fairly new that you know we were in Ontario and had fun with our family and we've still been renewing those conversations with family members and it was just amazing it was more than we had ever hoped would happen and um, we we didn't get to visit everybody that's true a um, lot of cousins and one of my aunts I couldn't visit um, just not enough time seven days is actually two days of travel so we left on the 2nd of June and <clears throat> I think it was, it was 11.50 takeoff from uh, Victoria from, yeah, the Victoria Airport, which is pretty teeny, okay, and then landed at Pearson's International Airport in Toronto at, I think, 2 o'clock there, to, I don't know, do the math and then subtract 3. <laughs> oh, I, jet lag. Have you ever had it? Every time I go east, I get jet lag. And you know, Dad Braden, when he came out, um, out this way, when he was, he was actually my age, and he said, I'll never do this again. I'll never do it again. You guys will have to come see me. Well, I said, Dad, Dad, <laughs> I'm now your age. I'm never doing this again. Like, never. I don't want to. No. If we go, we're, we're driving out. We're taking time to drive. But uh, that also means that that means like three weeks because it'll take a week to get there to drive and uh, th but there's so many uh, yeah you know my cousin Russ he went to Newfoundland and I think it turned out it was supposed to be a one month trip it turned out to be three months because everybody was inviting him to stay over and they were seeing different places and they were like oh let's go here we've never been to Quebec we've never been here we've never been here so that's what happened with them and I don't want that to happen with us our business will go and with me just doing a startup business, I need inventory and I need sales. So, yeah, I think everybody can come here. We can host everyone here. <laughs> it's not the biggest table in the world, but you know what? We'll make do. But what a lovely, lovely time. We spent most of our time outside. And it was, other than the smoke, I have to say, other than the smoke, it was pretty good. And we saw Dad and his wife and... Um, one brother came up from Peterborough, um, one from an area close to Alliston, and uh, another one from uh, Stainer, 
and just all over. They were everywhere. Um, Big Bay Point and uh, Toronto, one from Scarborough. Um, I see them separately because I know some people that are from the area areas and they get mad if you say one neighborhood or the other. Anyway, <clears throat> y'all heard about Pablo Paul Bernardo? Can I barely, I can't say that without choking, like, I'm not going to get into it, but wow, the judicial, ju <laughs> judicial system in Canada blows, but look who's in control. That's all I can say. Google it if you don't know about Paul Bernardo. I, I guarantee Carla Homolka and Paul Bernardo should stay locked away forever. Let's be honest. Yeah, do you have a big opinion on that? Yes, I do. Why? Because they shouldn't have been out in the first place. Oh, boy. I'm sure the police department learned a lot of lessons through that one. As far as I'm concerned, not enough. Not if he's out. And she's out, has children and, and visiting schools, and yeah, looking after little kids. Carla Homolka, under a different name, but her, she's still Carla Homolka, right? Um, yeah. What a sad situation. Anyway, it's all over the news. There's also a big hoo-ha about um, Dallas Jenkins from The Chosen. Um, you can Google all that if you care to get into it. I'm not a, I'm not a fan. He's lost my support. Completely. We invested heavily. We're so disappointed. Anyway, you can Google that too. And my opinions are mine, and I own them. And your opinions are yours and you own them. And that's all good. That's fine. Anyway, life is good. It also is what you make it. And uh, it's busy here. It's getting long. Can't wait till it has, oh, it's really, really, really long and I'll be wearing long, long ponytails. I was thinking about giving it a cut and I thought, nah, just let her grow. So, yeah. It's not thick, but that's okay. It's still here. I'm okay. I love that white vein in there, though. Gotta, gotta love that right there. That's mine. That's mine. Oh, that's my baby. <laughs> love white hair. So cool. It's funny when you get older, you like different things. I never thought I'd embrace it, but yeah. Be good, okay? Have a good life. Life is what you make it. Be positive and uh, speak your truth. Try not to hurt anybody's feelings. <laughs> That's hard, <laughs> especially when you're very opinionated. Anyway, take care. God bless. I'm done. <laughs>